I just like to love what I'm doing. And I guess if I'm not enjoying what I'm doing, then that's where your confidence goes because you start to question why you're doing it. And when you're out there and I'm having fun and enjoying it, you, know, you, you start to play how you want to play and you remember why you're doing it. I think that that's a, a big thing for me. When I was a kid, all I could dream about doing was play rugby and I loved Christian Cullen. Um, you know, I remember being in, in the backyard or at school as a five-year-old doing his, his runs. I remember a game specifically when he played against Scotland where he, he ran through and off the left foot, straightened up off the left foot again, straightened up off the left foot and just kept going. And I remember doing it at, at school one time and commentating to myself as I was running, you know, like, Cullen, steps steps again, you know, just little things like that and you, you remember those things for the rest of your life and, you know, so for me, he was very much a, a hero and a guy that I looked up to. I was living in New Zealand and I was actually watching it at my uncle's house. He used to live just around the corner from, from my mum and, oh, from us when we, when we grew up and you know, we were all around there watching that game. It was what, three tries within sort of 10 minutes of the game. Like it was the most amazing game to watch. Alatini, um, Alami Uramir, uh, Umanga on the wing. I remember the, and I think it's probably world renowned now, the Alatini line, which was a, a very skinny switch where you know, the 10 or whoever would drift across field and the other bloke would come under on a switch and then straight him right up into that hole. And I think universally, or well, wherever I've played, it's, it's called the Alatini line. And you know, probably that was the, the best game for that. And as, as a youngster, you know, that game especially sat in my mind for a, for a long time. For me, it was any kind of football, you know, I love playing. And so when I first came to Australia, that's probably the, the best thing about Australia as a, as a young kid, it has a lot of sporting opportunities. So for kids who love sport, you can just roll down to any local club and you've got opportunities to play five or six different sports. So for me, I was, I was in heaven. That tournament took a lot of confidence away from me. And I went into my shell a bit because a lot of the people coming, coming at me directly sort of pushed me back a bit. And Quade Cooper starts the match at Eden Park with a mistake. Quade Cooper also, the New Zealanders have been on his case since he arrived in New Zealand. Whatever they had to say about me or my reasons for doing it, who I was playing for, they, they didn't know about anything that I'd gone through or any, any of my goals or, or anything, all the hard work that I'd done you know, to be where I was. For me, what's, what's important is the respect and, and love of my family, the respect and love of my, my teammates and the people supporting me and myself. So, you know, it made me grow up and, and learn a lot about myself. After the World Cup, suffered a, a knee injury 2011. Um, you know, come back 2012, and, and then I was injured again, playing against Argentina on the Gold Coast. I just couldn't get a clean run. It was tough because injuries take, take its toll on you mentally, physically. Um, every time I'd come back, I'd, I'd be in a great headspace and, and get injured again. You know, so for me, the, the whole part of being a rugby player is playing rugby. You know? So coming back now, it gave a, a burning desire again, not only to get back and, and play good football and get back into the team, but you know, just to have, have a year of having no injuries. And um, you know, so that's been a, a blessing in disguise. To be honest, I, I didn't expect to you know, be part of the squad, let alone play a role. So like for me, it was a, it was a bonus, but it also gave me a um, a different view on on the game, on on an important tournament like that, and, and also being able to just support the boys and and offer a different role. It was something that I hadn't really done before, um, and mate, it's tough. It's 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 a very tough thing to do is sit on the sidelines and and watch your teammates go out there and. Uh, and perform, and so that's what I took out of it. And you know, I'm you know, very fortunate and grateful to have another opportunity to wear the number 10 jersey again. In the future for me, you know, if everything you know goes to plan, I just want to you know, continue to push my claim to continue to wear the number 10 jersey for Australia. You know, stay injury free and 
um, I just in, enjoy the opportunity that I have and I'm grateful to be in the position that I am, get to do what I love for a living, play rugby, provide for my family um, and most importantly have fun. I'm just very fortunate to, you know, to have the life that I have.